Thinking Maps is a visual language of eight thinking process maps developed by David Hurley. Each map addresses a specific thinking task. Like a language, thinking maps are flexible and can be combined to fit your thinking context. This is part one of a series to introduce the eight maps plus the frame that serves as a tool for self-reflection. I'll be releasing one video each day. Subscribe to get notified. The circle map is designed to define concepts and context, to develop a frame of reference. As a rule of thumb, the circle map will feature nouns around the central statement. Each of the eight thinking maps has a frame. This is the frame of reflection. You start by drawing the frame and by articulating the essential question, the question you are looking to answer at the top of the frame. We will return to the frame in a later video. Let's say you wanted to improve your thinking. What skills would you need to focus on? What are fundamental thinking skills? They are the ability to define context, the classification of things, sequencing of ideas, activities, or timeline, comparing and contrasting of ideas and concepts, the skill of taking things apart and organizing the parts of a whole, being able to see analogies, describing and characterizing things, and finally, understanding cause and effect relations. Let's look at another example. How would you describe Excolidraw to a friend? What do you use Excolidraw for? You could use it to illustrate ideas, to tell stories, to design solutions, to help you think more visually, and to collaborate with others via a shared virtual whiteboard. Finally, let's use a circle map to enlist the eight thinking maps. Notice how in this example, I'm adding obsidian wiki links around the central statement. This way, my circle map immediately becomes a virtual map of content that I can use as a jumping board to access further notes and drawings in my vault. The eight thinking maps are the circle map to define context, the bubble map to describe attributes, the double bubble map to compare and contrast, the tree map for classifying things, the brace map to describe parts of a whole, the flow map to think about sequence, the multi-flow map to explore cause and effect, and finally the bridge map for seeing analogies. This concludes the introduction of the circle map that you can use to define concepts and context. In the next video, we will cover bubble maps. Don't forget to subscribe so you are notified when part two is released. Thank you for watching.